myself Kumangsa, working as an assistant professor in computer engineering branch. I am coming from AIT College, Ahmedabad. Hello, myself Chintan Nagrecha. I am assistant professor in Ahmedabad Engineering, Ahmedabad Institute of Technology, working in computer engineering department. Hi, this is Janna Barma from Samaj uh, College of Engineering and Technology from Computer Branch. Myself, Mittal Rajada, working as an assistant professor in Information Technology Department in Shankar Sivadeva Bapu Institute of Technology, Gandhinagar. Hello, myself, Pooja Vyas. I am working as an assistant professor in AIT College of Engineering in Computer Engineering Department. Here, first one is the empathizing song, kind of canvas. Here, we do not have to decide any kind of field, any kind of program, or any kind of um, a thing that you have to decide. You just have to focus on any of the field. For example, multiple fields, for example, uh, agriculture field, transportation fields, you can decide any of field. field. Okay, first I, we have decided a transportation, just a, not a problem, just a entire field. We have decided the transportation, the users of the transportations. There are multiple users of the transportations. We have decided tourists and civilians. All kind of users you can put here only the stakeholders. Stakeholders is are the people's companies and everything that you that could be a beneficial from our concept. Okay. Yet we do not have any concept or problem in our mind. We just decided a field. Okay. The stakeholders are the drivers. Uh, private companies, tourists, tourism departments, travel agencies, civilians, and multiple of this, uh, multiple franchises and the organization, uh, which will be beneficial from our concept. Okay, then uh, activities. Activities, each and every kind of activities this user will do. These both users can do. All the probability, all kind of activities that uh, tourists or the civilians can go in, can do in all the manners. For example, selecting the destinations. They can select, they have to select the destination for the travel. Choosing a public or private transport. They have to choose bus or what kind of mode. Okay. They have to select the mode. Which kind of mode they will uh, gonna travel. For example, private or public mode. Okay. And ask for the fares, payments. And all the activities, uh, the general activities, not the particular that is associated with our problems. Okay. All the general activities they are going, going to do. And these are the uh, stories, the storyboarding, happy stories and the sad stories. Uh, stories, for example, so some are happy and some are uh, sad stories where we have to mention uh, relevant or irrelevant stories with our problems. Uh, one for each happy and sad stories, we have to mention two for the both. Okay. This is the second step of the design uh, design process, which are the ideas and canvas. We already defined the number of different activity in a user canvas, like uh, users, stakeholders, and activity. Now we are focusing in more detail. We have uh, applied one uh, different types of people, like working women, children, corporate employees, because we are focusing on the transportation systems. Initially, we decided to go to the uh, transportation system. So we are all uh, we are all including all types of users including doctors, physical handicaps and senior citizens. Then after we have defined the different types of activity which are related to the our domains which is a transportation system. So for example if we consider the working woman then we consider the different types of activity like going to market, shopping, picnic and so on. If we consider the fire station then we uh, uh, included the different type of activity like uh, emergency visits, uh, like uh, emergency help and so on. So here we are included all type of the possibilities which are included in our transportation system. Thank you. Okay, next part is situation, context and location. Means uh, which type of activities are done in which situation or in which location. Suppose uh, we go for shopping. So uh, it may be a uh, dark night or uh, any other situation where we do the particular activities. So this situation, context and location are related with the activities. Which activities are done and which time or which situation. From that connectivity we can find out a problem that which activity was done at which situation. From uh, that combination we can find out any uh, and different types of problems and we can uh, uh, try to solve that problem. So next part is props and possible possible solutions. So props and possible solutions include that which type of problem you have encountered from the activities and situation. For example, uh, if uh, we are going to school and if there is a 108 emergency uh, vehicle coming, 
then uh, there may be a chance of accident. So to avoid accident, what uh, should be the proper uh, possible solution to avoid the accident? So a problem uh, on our hand is uh, uh, accident because accidents are frequently happens. Uh, so uh, we can have vehicles plus inbuilt cameras as props to uh, for in, uh, improving security. Then vehicles plus sensors to avoid accidents. Then vehicles plus routine equipment test to improve performance uh, and so on. Thank you. So for two days we were identifying what is the problem in the transportation area. While the transportation area is very far, very, very, very vast, we came down to a particular aspect that is accident of it. But now, in what situations the accidents can occur, we were trying to elaborate them in very details and finally we came down to a conclusion Then we are doing, uh, when, when we are doing late night traveling, the chances of accidents are highest. Why? Because we are having beepers coming from the front side when a driver is driving a vehicle and when he tries to do the overtake, there are chances of vehicle coming from the back side uh, in a higher speed apart from the driver driving the vehicle so the chances of ex uh, accidents are higher, higher and higher. So we come down to a conclusion for a safe transportation design, safe road transportation design using a sensing technology which uh, uh, gives a mechanism or with devices a pro designs a product which can sense the vehicle coming from the back side and avoid the accident. This is what the summary of what we are planning to do. So now I'll come to the purpose of avoiding the accidents due to the overtakes. Now what are the people who are the people who will be using this product being developed by us? So we uh, the product being used by uh, the people are the truck drivers, the car drivers, the emergency vehicle drivers like uh, that 108 <coughs> fire uh, station drivers, bus drivers, cab taxi drivers and the corporations also are included in this as a stakeholder part wherein uh, if our devices installed in a particular car, corporations come into picture for giving the permission for the manufacturers that they should include this car for giving a compulsion for this device. So that is what the people include in this. Now what are the features of our device for avoiding the accidents? So we need a sensor which should have an audio notification of a that a car is coming from the back. We should have a visual experience also. It should give us the uh, picturization uh, of the car coming from the back side. Right? And we should have product manual also so that we can use the uh, device made by us then there is a weather independence of our project, uh, product or device. It should not be that it should be uh, deactivated in particular monsoon or something like that. So we have considered all the aspects and we have started with the uh, features of it. Now I'll uh, hand over the chat to Jhana Ma'am to explain the other parts of our canvas. Thank you. Hello. These features are, uh, uh, the function is powered by so these many features. Like we have the function first is notification, that is, that would be the sound notification. Then, uh, like suppose there is a, a vehicle coming uh, from uh, back to uh, or something overtaking the uh, our vehicle, so it will be notified by the, by the sound. It will uh, play the sound like we or and simultaneously it will show the blink like uh, blink the lights. Right? For the notification, we have we need the component that is speaker. Simply a speaker. Speaker will notify by the audio audio sound. Like we have another feature like a uh, function like reliability. In the terms of that any weather condition, its uh, sensor should be work uh, efficiently. Sensor, sensor should work efficiently. Like and another function is easy to maintain. Easy to maintain that in the terms of that uh, user, if user, user is uh, using the product, it should be easy to use. Right? And next is easy installation. So it should be integrated with our vehicle very easily. And next is accident avoidance. That is, that is our main concern. That is accident should be avoided by these functions and features. So we have the components that are hardware components, some sensors we are going to put in our uh, uh, product and some LED indicators to uh, indicators to uh, blink the lights, uh, software to program that vehicle is passing through. So uh, sensors will detect that vehicle is coming. So uh, software that should be programmed. We have the battery and assembly the speakers. And all these are, uh, Product will 
experience the safety. Uh, we have a custom, uh, we have talked to some customers also that uh, that have given the review that is a team from our uh, these workshops that the team A had uh, uh, said that ordinary parking system avail uh, is available. So these features can be integrated with already available existing systems, right? And we are right right now we are working on only vehicles which are overtaking us. Another suggestion was that we should put sensors in front side also.